Good afternoon and a warm welcome from the Peninsula Stadium where Salford City host Mason United in the Vanarama National League. Yami's unbeaten in six, entertaining the Stones who've lost the last four. And Graham Alexander makes one change this afternoon with Danny Lloyd coming in, returning from suspension in place of Nick Horton who drops to the bench. Mason hardly had a touch of the ball so far. Wiseman back to Whitehead. Whitehead now left, shifts it onto his right and finds Wiseman. This time a high cross into the area. Lloyd rising above anyone. Ball's headed away down to Torrey on the left hand side now. Left footer gets across here. Gaffney's waiting there. Chess it down. Really puts the ball in the net, but the offside flag is up against Rory Gaffney and it won't count. But a brilliant electric start from Salford this afternoon and it's still nil nil. Offside goal ruling that one out. Still Salford City nil, Mason United nil. And played just shy of 15 minutes. Salford coming forward again though. Walker moving into the middle. It's a good challenge in there from Muldoon. And it breaks for Shamir Mullings now. Mullings driving through the middle. Neil unsure whether to come or go. And Mullings stabs it wide to the far post. Heads in his hands, you can see why. Again, composure just lacking at the last. Balls around us. It's now Torrey moving in from the left. Back into Whitehead. Whitehead seen the run of Wiseman on the right hand side, and Wiseman brings the ball down for Shelton coming forward. Thought about the cross to slow things down, but you've seen the run of Wiseman in behind. Wiseman by the byline gets cross in. Lloyd brings it down. Gaffney, Rooney off the line by Wargan and clears to the top of the area. Winter playing it out to the left hand side. It's a great chance, and again, lovely build up from the Amis. Piergiani over the halfway line. Strikes the ball over to Walker. He's in space at the top of the area, just tried to centre. Goes for goal. It's a one handed save by Wargan. A brilliant save as well. Has to be said by the 34 year old. It was on target from Tom Walker. It's quick to place it down on the left, lifting the floated ball into the middle. It's headed behind. And that's a spectacular own goal from Shamir Mullings. Well, a striker by instinct, he's found the net, and maybe, not the net that he was expecting to, it's Salford City 1, Mason United 0, and Shamir Mullings with quite an interesting own goal to give the host the lead. Lloyd left-footed, floats the ball in, it fizzed across, it's away by Mullings. But Wiseman picks possession back up for the Amis, out to Shelton. Shelton down to Gaffney, he's made a run out from the area. Gaffney slots the ball, moves in field onto his left, shoots and flashes a shot across the face of goal. Good effort from the former Bristol man. He's getting closer to a second goal of the season, but just not dropping for him. Wargan plays 63 minutes here in M7. Long ball forward, headed away by Pons. Picked up now by Paxman. Paxman out to the left to Tumasi. Loads are again on the overlap down that left hand side. Tumasi cuts in field, gets across into the far post. Mullings has brought it down, the referee's flagged. But he's flagged for offside against Mullings. Just as I think Mason thought they'd been awarded a penalty there. The offside flags come to Salford's rescue. Throwing again for the fullback, going long. Coker heads it into the middle, it's helped on by Phillips, now comes down to Muldoon, ball through towards Coker, Salford's cut it out but can't clear it, it's now with Richards, Richards out to the left hand side to Tumasi, Tumasi now onto his right foot, gets the cross in, Neil does enough just to tip that away and it will be a corner for Mason United, he had to get a touch on that one, but he's heading towards the far post and it will be a throw in on the right hand side for the Stones, Fete back to Wargan. You can see the urgency from the Stones. Wargan's long ball forwards away by Pond and Rodney heads it down in the middle towards Rooney. Whitehead now Horton's way on the left hand side. Nick Horton for Salford in the last minute of the game into the area. Finney gets across well, gets a foot in. And he sent that one out for a corner. The referee's given a goal kick. Chris Neal now with this free kick. 
sends it down the left hand side but with that comes the full time whistle and it's the seventh game unbeaten for Salford City a 1-0 win here at the Peninsula Stadium against Mason United enough to extend that run obviously it came from Mr Mabel's own goal at the start of the second half